Thanks, guys. Now, everyone has cameras on their phones these days, but I remember when you had to go to photo booths for your selfies and ussies. Well, a local woman is offering the social aspect of camera phone photos while also maintaining that old school photo booth mentality. And she can bring the party to you. I'm sure you've heard of a photo booth, like you've been in one and you end up with a strip. It's the same concept, it's just inside a camera. Well, I know what a photo booth is, but these young whippersnappers only know about these newfangled gadgets. So what is this? Tin Can is a mobile photo booth. Um, we work parties, pop mitzvahs, corporate events, private events. Jamie's Venture is bringing that old style back into vogue, kind of like how the high top fade is popular again. I've always had a thing for vintage and vintage automobiles, and the camper came to mind, and I was like, bing! It was a light bulb moment. After 10 years as a wedding photographer, her light bulb moment came from her realization that the interest in pop-up mobile businesses and the food truck craze exploded, and she took the idea and ran with it like Olympic 100 meter style. Concept to our first event six months. I'm a get her done. When I have an idea, I'm like, let's blast it out. It seems that people are sprinting to check out the lounge wherever it pops up. Every single person is just thinks it's the best thing. It's so exciting, it's super fun. And it's great for young and old, and I think that's why events do well. The reason why it's so popular? kind of goes back to that old school mentality that the younger generation might not be as locked into. I think people are impressed with just the whole concept of having a actual print in hand. Um, and it's pretty quick. I mean, it's within 30 seconds you have the print. You know, and they just think it's the greatest thing. So I think young people mostly are impressed just that there's a photo. Jamie explains that she gets as much pleasure from her tin can photo lounge as her patrons. I'm a fine arts major. I've always had um, that creative art background, and I think having a, a one-of-a-kind business has been the fun ride for me. Um, and then I'm a people person. I never met a stranger, so meeting people and like dealing with people and just cutting up is like, the best job ever. Being a unique business brings some other interesting aspects that has Jamie feeling like a rock star. Um, we did Art Walk, I'm sure you're familiar, um, down in Hemming Park for six months, and that created um, a lot of groupies. They would come back to see us. They'd even bring their own props, handmade props. You know, if their friend couldn't be there, there'd be a face on a prop to a friend. It's just crazy. Stuff like that is so unpredictable. Um, and that's why I enjoy doing these public events. It gets me out in the community. Speaking of those props, Jamie finds simplicity is bliss for the photo lounge. We can customize props for any event or any, you know, theme. Um, but generally, the stick props, I try not to get overboard or too much. I think the, the process of doing it is enough, you know, for people. So just little things, picture frames. I like to find vintage. My, our favorite prop is a old 60s phone, telephone with a cord, you know, um, dial-up, stuff like that. I try to always look for unique ideas. Well, fans of the show know I'll pose anywhere, most anytime. I'm Rance Adams, voguing for River City Live. Now, Jamie and her roaming 10-can photo lounge can be found all over Jacksonville and uh, accepting invites anywhere, so you can stri strike a pose anywhere. I like it. I definitely want to learn more about it. And where would I go? To our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click the Yes scene on River City Live. Okay.